I started Primo Forensics because I saw the amount of media evidence, audio, video, and image evidence entering the court system. And love a challenge and love the science behind exploring and investigating the purpose of that evidence. On a daily basis, we work with attorneys, police departments, government agencies, and private citizens. Some of the high profile cases we worked on has been the Palace Brawl in Auburn Hills, Michigan between the Detroit Pistons and the Indiana Pacers. I've been asked to restore the Air Force One recordings the day John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I've worked on the George Zimmerman case uh, after he shot Trayvon Martin in Florida. I've worked on the Michael Brown case. I think one of the reasons why people come to us is our experience. Over the last 32 years, I've seen just about everything, from horrific to heroic, from analog to digital, audio, video, image, other multimedia evidence. A lot of times that evidence is very crucial and extremely important to the case, which is why we developed a proven methodology, identify, clarify, and testify. One of the first things that we do during the identification process is to understand the evidence. What file format is it? Does the file structure match the alleged equipment that it was created on? And we proceed with the investigation by understanding the trial strategy and the role that evidence plays at trial. The chain of custody is important. Some of the time we establish that chain of custody by going on an evidence recovery. Other times, we continue the chain of custody. That lends authenticity to our work product, our opinions, and our testimony, ultimately. Our clarification processes involve understanding which direction we're going in with regard to the evidence. It could be to authenticate it. It could be to enhance it. If the audio recording has unwanted sounds on it, to clarify is to remove the unwanted sounds so that we can better hear the wanted sound. Many times it's a conversation. In video, the camera may be further away from the events that occurred. So we zoom in on them so that we can better see and hear if that's applicable, the events as they occurred. We get, we're just walking, we need, right? We need five oh, we do need that guy. Some of the time we need to clarify whether the recording is authentic or if it's misrepresenting the events that occurred because somebody decided to remove something out of it. When I testify, this is where the rubber meets the road because I bring the forensic investigation, the scientific results, and my opinions into the courtroom so the trier of fact can make a decision and weigh that evidence against all the other facts and testimony in the case. We're qualified as forensic experts because of the training we receive on a regular basis, the experience we have working on hundreds of cases throughout the years, as well as the courtroom experience testifying about our findings to the trier of fact. We testify in local, state, and federal courts all over the country and in other courts internationally. And one of the most important things I find about testifying is preparation. I like to prep with the client attorney before I get on the plane and then face to face prior to going under oath. Anticipating cross is a very important part of the preparation process because that way I understand how my testimony is gonna play out based on the attorney's expectations, and we understand the objections. Where's the elephant in the room? It's very difficult to process your case as an attorney, police officer, even a private citizen, without understanding the role that your evidence is gonna play in your case. Contact us today so that we can help you interpret the importance and the relevance of your evidence going forward.